We've been told about a load of productivity apps, but we can't realistically use 20 productivity apps that everyone keeps telling us about. But look, over the past seven years, I've done a bachelor's, I've done a master's, and now I'm at medical school, and I've found the only five apps you'll need to cover everything for university. So the first one I've been using is Anki, and it's a flashcard app that helped me memorize all the small details I need to know from lectures. And the thing is at med school, we're told that, oh, it's about understanding concepts and piecing it together. But we both know uni is 50% about memorizing random facts. So using Anki helped me memorize the boring things like knowing guidelines for treating conditions like heart failure or COPD. And it's even helped me get qualified in Japanese because it's literally all I used to memorize hundreds of symbols. And Anki is by far the best for memorizing because it has spaced repetition that you can adjust. Which basically means that you'll see the same flashcards at progressively increasing intervals so that it stays in your long-term memory. And it lets you easily group things together using tags. So for my imaging exams at med school, I'd go through all my flashcards tagged with images instead of searching one by one. So it's a pretty simple and efficient way to memorize things fast. And to save you even more time, I've linked the adjusted space repetition infos that I used that helped me memorize thousands of flashcards in just a few weeks to pass my medical school exams. And okay, so Anki does cover that 50% of memorizing for uni or med school, but it's not really ideal for understanding concepts or grouping information nicely. And what complements Anki to completely fill this gap is a relatively new web app called Scrintool, which combines visual learning, like mind mapping, with note taking. And Scrintool are kindly sponsoring this video. But even before I get into Scrintool, I want to reiterate that I've been in uni for seven years now. And I've gone from writing stacks of handwritten notes to hand drawing mind maps to typing up pages of notes and now to finally using Scrintool at med school. And genuinely, it's one of the best methods I've used to see the bigger picture of different topics at med school. Because that overview approach Scrintool is good for helps with essays and with those questions in exams that links multiple topics together. Like understanding the pathophysiology of heart failure and asthma and realizing that because of their asthma, you shouldn't really give a beta blocker for their heart failure when you otherwise would have. So Scrintool has helped me visualize the key details and concepts of a topic through this overview approach, but still works really well for the finer details that you need to know. And it does it in a way that essentially helps you create a condensed textbook with everything you need, but still designed in a way that's accessible and integrated pretty well. And because Scrintool makes it easy to link topics together, I can look at other relevant conditions I need to think about if I see a patient with heart failure, like looking at the risk of a stroke or again when thinking about treatment, if they have asthma. And even this video, the b-roll, the edits, was all planned using Scrintool because it's good for making projects. And even then I think I've barely touched the surface of it and it would have been nice if it was a thing during my undergrad or masters because I know it would have saved me a lot of time. But it's only been about for around a year but that makes it a good time to use it because the team are very open to feedback so that they can make it even better for us than it already is. So save on the money you would have used on literally two or three takeouts and invest it into Scrintool. And use my discount code SALIM20 or click the referral link below so that you can get 20% off your subscription. And trust me, it's better than using that money to buy two inflated takeout meals that you'll just forget about the next day. But there's still a problem. Even though Scrintool can visualize topics from uni and have it all in one place, you know that a lot of the time, lecture slides don't cover everything you need to know. Like at med school, we have learning objectives for everything we need to know, but lectures cover like only 70% of that. So what helped me get everything down without spending days reading things up was that I used ChatGPT and I used it in a very specific way. Like when I had notes from lectures, I'd copy them into ChatGPT and ask it to make them into questions that I can put into Anki, or ask it to organize it in a way that I can put it into Scrintool. And when I had gaps in my notes, like when a lecture on cardiovascular disease missed out on risk factors, I'd just ask it to fill in those gaps. And it usually does it better than I would have done myself. And you might think, oh, is it reliable? But I think I have been passing med school with it and I haven't seen anything wrong with it, so yeah. But no, it depends on what you use it for. Like for things already set like risk factors, it's good. But for things that change like treatment guidelines, always double check to be sure. And even if you think something is wrong, just ask it, are you sure? And it will check again. So these three apps focus on learning efficiently. But a big part to being a successful med student is having an organized life. And Notion is the app I've been using to organize my time. And one thing I wanna say is that I don't do anything complicated like other YouTubers do. I just keep things very simple because if it works, it works. So the main thing I use Notion for is to track every single habit of mine. And habits are a big thing because everything we do is essentially built from habits. Like if that's going to the gym, checking your phone, or sleeping at a certain time at night. And keeping track of this stuff on Notion was easy because it's got the best interface compared with similar apps. Like the simple toggle features even made it easy for me to compare my habits from yesterday to today so that I'd be more conscious of them and avoid the bad ones. And eventually that compounds to saving a lot of time. And Notion's been the best app to save time with organizing med school 
cool. Like I'd have a list of uni related things that I need to get done all in one place instead of relying on the med school's page because that's usually all over the place. And the ability Notion has to make things very simple but clear is what makes me actually want to use this app and what helped me keep up with these good habits. But Notion isn't the best for giving you immediate direction for the day. And one thing that does this better than anything else is Google Calendar. Well, any calendar would do, but I say Google Calendar because it's well integrated on Apple and Android. And it's because before I used a calendar, I'd have points in the day where I think, oh, should I go to the gym now? Should I practice the piano now? Or should I study? And having those extra decisions to make just slowed me down. So using a calendar to plan what you'll do for the day takes that extra step away so that you don't have to think, you just have to do. And that saves a surprising amount of time when you use it properly. Like my calendar has the time for when I go to the gym, when I study or when I reply to people. And that makes me focus on those individual things because the time on the calendar is for that one thing only. And so I've told you that these are all the apps you'll need to get through med school and I genuinely do believe that. So definitely check them out and use my discount code SALIM20 or click the referral link in the description to get 20% off of Squintool.